ambassador, parents, colleagues, students, class of 2011, when I welcomed you two years ago down there, I told you that there was only one event that I liked more than saying hello, which was to say goodbye. And the reason is that in between the hello and the goodbye, there's something the school is supposed to achieve, and I would like to read this out. It's from our mission statement. <laughs> Specifically, the school is to educate students who are equipped with state-of-the-art knowledge and analytic, as well as practical skills of policy studies, who are capable of applying their expertise to the complex problems of today's world at local, national, and international levels, who are interdisciplinary in approach, intersectoral in outlook, and international in orientation, and who are intellectually open and with a deep sense of ethical responsibility towards the common good. Can we declare mission accomplished? Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully yes, because uh, Today we have in this room the uh, founding father of this school, Dr. Michael Endres, the chairman of the Hertie Foundation, who has put enormous amounts of effort and money <laughs> into this endeavor so that we can fulfill this mission statement. So now the debt is on your side, no longer on ours. I would like to thank Dr. Endres for the achievements by this school. We all, as the faculty, hope you will live up to this expectation um, and have uh, fulfilled all of those criteria. Today is your day, and you will see, receive a lot of praise. Many people, in particular your parents, will tell you how brilliant you are, how knowledgeable. You will tell them that you know how to calculate a t-test, that you understand cost-benefit analysis. Uh, your parents will think that you have read basically everything that's out there, including Leviathan, Theory of Justice, Crime and Punishment, Pride and Prejudice, and the latest <laughs> book by Thilo Sarrazin, and uh, they will tell you that you look good. Ultimately, I think you are all going to agree that you are total geniuses prepared for everything that could possibly happen in the world in the upcoming decades. <laughs> While this might be true, you shouldn't forget that many people, and in particular your parents, are not objective the day of your graduation. So let's take five minutes to come to a slightly more down-to-earth assessment of how prepared you really are. And since you are the fifth generation of Hertie graduates, what could be a better approach than doing an extremely rigorous analysis of the feedback that we as faculty get from our alumni on whether they felt prepared for professional life? But what I will not discuss is average wage figures or sector employment rates, but be for once very unscientific, and present you with a completely subjective and quite biased look at the main problems that you're going to encounter. Let's be frank. The professional challenges that you're going to face are not the front page newspaper stories about global debt problems, climate change, welfare state reform, or the conflict in the Middle East, which you thought you would encounter. Rather, the challenges that uh, come up when I talk to alumni are much simpler, but probably also more difficult to attack. Our alumni generally are very, very happy. But when they complain, they complain about three challenges. One, the monotony, the monotony of professional life. Two, the unpredictability of professional life. And three, freedom of choice. First challenge, professional monotony. Student life is about steady change. Professional life, with a few expectations, is largely about monotony and routines. It's my experience and the experience of all of my colleagues down here that after around two years, many of you will come back and say they hate their day-to-day -day routines and that they play with the idea of doing their fifth master degree <laughs> or even attacking a PhD. We will tell you, don't do that. You don't need to go as far as Mahatma Gandhi who once said, the monotony of necessary occupation is accelerating and life-giving. Just wait, professional life is full of surprises, unpredictable events or those black swans. One former student of mine uh, got a job offer from the German Foreign Ministry to work on one of the clearly most boring subjects in EU politics, the medium-term financial framework in EU budgetary policy. He hesitated, telling me that he was afraid of being bored. He took the job 
A few weeks later, Lehman collapsed. He became member in the task force working on the EU rescue packages. And two months later, he did the personal briefing for the German foreign minister. I think there is no evidence that there was any impact, but at least he did the briefing. So should the evidence uh, of absence is not the absence of evidence. Um, should professional monotony hit, just watch yesterday's cabaret video, grab your favorite economics textbook, and hang on in there. There's not only life after Hertie, there's also life after professional monotony. Second challenge, the unpredictability of professional life. Don't make the mistake to think professional life can be planned. We have tried to teach you what is predictable in public policy. But now, when it comes to your own careers and trajectories, forget this. Previous student generations at Hertie nailed detailed plans on where they wanted to go and what exactly they wanted to achieve. They all ended up elsewhere. When I asked a former student on graduation day in which area he wanted to work, his reply was, nothing related to economics. He's now working for the World Bank. Another student took a job thinking she would administer 1.5 million US dollars as humanitarian aids uh, to, to the Democratic Republic of Congo. She started to spend the money when the donor decided to withdraw. Her job completely changed from that day. She now had to unwind the program. Life is unpredictable. You can start as a banker with Goldman Sachs and end up as US ambassador to Germany. <laughs> Although I'm not sure I would want you to start with Goldman in the first place. You won't be able to make professional life predictable, so be just what you are, smart, quick, and flexible. Third and last challenge, freedom. In the upcoming months and years, you will constantly face the question to choose between different options. Many students have come back to us and complained that they didn't know what to do. Accept this job or that job, go to this place or that place, order a large or medium-sized cafe latte. The main problem with the freedom to choose is that you will have to decide for one option and turn down another option. This is the ugly side of freedom. One former student told me he was hesitating whether he should work for McKinsey, become a diplomat, or start a PhD. Some of you are smiling. This is the typical Hertie student syndrome. Some of you would like to fight in parallel against nuclear proliferation, poverty in Africa, and the US Republicans. <laughs> My only advice to you is, don't hesitate to take bold decisions. Do take risks, but do what you do very seriously. One student wasn't sure whether he wanted to become a journalist or a politician. He took his Hertie master thesis, turned it into a political pamphlet in his home country, had a huge success. I'm told the book is sold everywhere in Mexico, and he is now entering into Mexican politics. If you think about freedom, you can grab a book. Jonathan Franzen's book, Freedom, should become a mandatory read for public policy students. His message is, use well thy freedom. The three challenges I've just outlined, monotony of professional life, its unpredictability, and freedom of choice, are not on the Hertie curriculum. But we hope and are confident that the collateral benefit of your work here at Hertie is that you will easily cope with those specific challenges. If not, don't hesitate to come back to talk to us, and I have something to tell to future student generations. <laughs> because your Hertie relationship is not ending today, we offer a lifelong customer support service. <laughs> but please make sure you keep your receipts, which we will now distribute when proceeding to checkout. I wish you all the best. I call Dean Anheyer on uh, the stage, and we will now distribute your degrees. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>